Alrighty mates, so now that we have the top level domain of the target, what we can do now is we need to get the IP address of that website. And I'll show you guys what I mean. Now I'm pretty sure that there's an easier way to do this, but this is how I do it. If anyone knows of a function that you can just write like get IP in Python, I'm almost certain that there is one, but I don't know what it is. So this is what I'm going to do. So if you type host thenewboston.com or any top level domain and hit enter. What this does is it returns the IP address. So it says thenewboston.com has address 54.186.250.179. Now the thing is we just can't take this, these results and store them in a text file because we are only worried about this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this command through Python and then we're going to extract this part of it and then it's going to leave us with only the IP address. Again, I'm like 99% sure that there's an easier way to do this. Probably just a simple function. If anyone knows, let me know. But uh, yeah, there you go. So let's make a new file and I'll just name it IP underscore address dot py. And okay. So I'm going to import OS. And by the way, this OS allows you to make operating system calls so it allows you basically to use the command line or terminal from within Python if you guys were wondering alright so I'll just write git IP address and we're gonna pass in a URL which is gonna be the top level domain like the new boston.com now the command that we're gonna run as you guys saw earlier it was just host and then the top level domain so in order to build that, write host with a space after it, and then the URL. So host the new boston.com, simple enough. Now, what we're gonna do is in order to actually run that command and get the results back, we're gonna pretty much open a new process. So operating system, and we're gonna write p open, and then we just write our command in here. So that's all you have to do. So this is going to run a new process. Just think of it like running or opening a new terminal. Run this command and the results that it gives back, which is going to be this. We're going to store in the variable. Can you guys even see that yeah, again? Store in the variable process. So now what we need to do after that is we actually need to work on removing this part of it. So we are left with only the IP address. So how do we do that? So glad you asked. We're going to write the results equal str process dot read. Now all we're doing right here is we're actually just converting it to a string and I can just leave this variable out and run a command right on here but this makes it look a little bit cleaner. Now what I'm going to do from here now that we have it as a string and we can work with it in Python is I want to find the location of this right here. Now I just can't count one, two, three, four, five, six like this because this is the thing. The domain names are going to be different depending on what your site is. For example, eBay is for the new Boston, which is this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, you know, Reddit is six, tomato, tomato. So we can't just have a fixed number. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, okay Haas, I'm going to copy this has address because this is going to be here no matter what. And then we're going to find this and then we're going to put a marker on it and then we're just going to say, okay, wherever this is, delete everything before it. It's going to be pretty sweet. So it's actually pretty simple. Probably just made it sound harder than it is. So the marker is just the results. Let me move my cursor so you guys can see. So what we're going to do is we're going to find, and what do you want to find? Well, we just want to find has address. So again, what this method does is it looks at this string, which is this entire thing right here, and we're going to find this right here. So whatever location this is, whether it's 20, 14, or wherever, and then from here, this is going to mark us at the beginning so let me just count alright so it's going to mark us at the beginning 
and then from there we're going to need to move 12 characters and then rip out everything before let me just do it and you guys are going to see what's going on so it has address plus 12 so this is the location that we want to mark and now should I just show you guys now? No, I'll show you guys later. So now all we have to do is return this. So the results, which is this entire thing, we only want to re return the end of this. And remember, we already have a marker right here, so we can use that. So return results, marker, and then we'll just write to the end. So this is the beginning and we're just going to return it to the end and we also want to do split lines at zero now the reason that I'm doing this is because let's say that we have a domain name and it has multiple IP addresses like I'll show you guys google.com you see how this has a bunch of IP addresses and that's because Google has a bunch of different servers well we don't want all of these we only want the top one so what we're going to do is we're going to look at these we're gonna get all of these lines split them up and we're only gonna return the first one which is zero since computers start counting at zero so now just to verify that this works let me just print get IP address the new Boston to come alright to looking good let me make sure I don't have anything messed up and alright there is the new Boston.com now if you want to double check and make sure that it works for Google alright boom roasted there we go so no matter what the results give us no matter if it's one IP address or several ones what we did is we extracted the IP address from it and boom roasted we are good to go we can now use this in our other scanning tools so I'll see you guys in the next video